Oh, what's this? Cordless is making a video on 76? What? Yeah, see, I told you I was gonna start peppering these in. I took a little break from Animal Crossing this week and felt like making a new camp with some of the new items that we got, and here we are. But did you guys believe me? Huh? I mean, come on, have I ever steered you wrong before? Okay, don't answer that. All right, so I'm back in 76, making a new camp at a new location with the sort of new contemporary house set. It's new for me anyway, because I haven't played in a while. And since I was edged out of my favorite camp location with the Wastelanders DLC, I mean, what is this Bethesda? You know how much I love this spot. I know you saw the videos and you want to throw this eyesore of a tent right in the middle of it. It's not cool, okay? It's not cool, but you know, I'm not mad. I'm not mad, I'm just hurt, again. But I used that pain to find a new spot. So I'm right over here, just to the east of Blackwater Mine and White Spring. So just over this cliff, right there is the mine, and just across the way is the White Spring Resort. This is already my new favorite spot, because first of all, the view is great. I can see top of the world, White Spring, and even a bit of the ash heap. So it feels like I'm in the middle of it all, but just tucked away enough to where I still have my peace and quiet, you know? And secondly, I love being this close to White Spring. Like, it literally takes 30 seconds to get over there, and if someone were to drop a nuke, which they normally do in this area, I'm just outside of the normal blast zone, so I get to see the fireworks and still run over there to farm if I feel like it. So I'm very happy with this spot, and I'm going to build a camp using the contemporary pieces to look like a house that could have already been here. I think it's a good location for that, and I think it comes out pretty well. So, let's get started. So this camp is not going to be anything too over the top because I'm trying to make it look like a house that was already here, you know? So it's going to be kind of basic, but also interesting. It's not going to be boring by any means, but I think the decorations is what's really going to bring it together. I hope, anyway. So I'm starting with this foundation. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You have plenty of wiggle room over here. The goal is to get the back of the house lined up with these rocks, kind of like the edge right here. And starting with the foundation up here by this rock gets you pretty close to that. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you're close to what I have here, you'll be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and build all the foundations now and then go over what I did afterwards. So give me just a sec. All right, so it's pretty simple. This is the starting foundation. We have another foundation to the right and to the left of it, and then this three by three square over here. And the next thing that we're gonna do is add in a wraparound porch, because it's me. You know, if you've been following me for any bit of time, you know that I like a good porch. And if I'm being completely honest, these might be the reasons why I came back to 76. I just had to see it for myself, you know? So all I did with the porch pieces was wrap them all the way around to fill in the rest of the square. So just this bottom right corner should be the only spot that doesn't have a porch. Now I just want to show you, so this is the back of the house, and you see how it lines up with these back rocks. It's not perfect, and that's why you have plenty of wiggle room with your starting foundation, because as long as it's close, it's going to look good back here. Next up are the walls, and all we're going to do with these is have them outline the perimeter of the wooden foundations down here. So it's pretty simple, just have them go all the way around. And you don't really have to worry about which windows and walls that I'm using, because I think I change a few of them as I start to decorate. So just put windows where you want to have windows. Alright, so here's a top-down view of what I have so far. The walls are just outlining the wooden foundations, and it's nothing too crazy. It's actually a pretty easy build, which has not always been my experience building in 76, to say the least, so I'll take it. But this is how it should look so far, which is already pretty damn cozy. So now let's work on the second level. First thing we're going to do is snap in this staircase that has the stairs that go along the back wall. And yeah, I know they clip into the window right here. and I'm trying not to let it bother me, so let's just not look at it. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. And now we'll fill in this whole area with these upper floors. So give me just a sec. And now we're going to work on everything else. So this spot that doesn't have a porch, we're going to put in these angled wall pieces and then these roofs. For this spot, all we want is to have two roof pieces to the left and one to the right because we're going to put walls around it. And same thing goes up here. Don't worry about which windows I'm using because I do change a few when I start decorating. So, you know, just you do you, man. And these walls are going to go around the perimeter except for the back side. So this is the back of the house and we want to have it kind of cut through and have... What are you doing? No, face this direction. Face me. Turn around. Don't embarrass me. You're in the... No! Okay, so remove the floor piece. And see... Okay, there it is. Okay, we want it to face that direction. Because we're kind of cutting out this back row of floor pieces. So let's just put in the rest over here. And then this one. And so we don't want the walls to go around that back row because that's going to be the porch area. 
or a patio area rather. I, I got porches on the brain. All right, so out here on the patio, we had to remove these corner floor pieces anyway. So everything's fine, it's fine. We gotta get these roofs in and then put the walls on the outside. But before we do that, I'm gonna put in the perimeter walls because I'm trying to make some sort of like, yeah, something like this. It doesn't look amazing and I think I end up moving it later, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see, I don't know. It's You kind of see what I'm going for. If it was like a white one, that will look so much better, but I'm kind of forced using these because they're the only ones that would snap in. So I digress. You know, if it looks fine, if not, I can remove it later and everything will be right in the world again. So I went ahead and put the angled walls on the inside room here on the top floor and then putting in these roofs and we're done. See, it's pretty simple with little to no frustration, at least from what you guys saw. I might've cut out a few, few bits here and there, but overall it's a pretty easy build and I think the house is gonna look great. And so here's how it's looking so far. This is the back area, which I realized that I used to build my houses facing the cliff, which really didn't make a lot of sense, you know, because you don't enter from the cliff. So since the path up here is up this way, this is the front of the house when normally I would have it reversed. And see, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not over the top or anything from compared to what I've seen a lot of people do. But as far as something that you might stumble upon in this game, I feel like it's pretty damn close. But all right, that is it for the build. So let's take a look at the fully decorated tour. All right, so I know that the decorations out here make it pretty obvious that this is a camp, and that's totally fine because really what I would love to see in this game, and I kind of wish that we had, were houses that were pre-built, you know, by Bethesda in the game and places like this that we can find and take over. Similar to like workshops, you know, how we can find different workshops here and kind of you know, turn those into settlements. I wish that we had that for houses because that's what makes the most sense to me. You know, you're out in the wasteland, you find some broken down house that you fix up and then you make it your own. So that's why I always build stuff that looks like it was already here because I just like that idea of finding something and then kind of repurposing it, you know, for something new. But this is my house. I have this circus trailer over here, which I know it really doesn't go, but I just love it for the vendor area. It's just kind of like aesthetic, you know? I just love looking at it because normally I would have some sort of separate garage that had the vendor shops and workbenches and all that in there. So this is just different and I really like it even though it doesn't really go. And down here, to make it not look so awkward because of how raised up it is, I put the power generator and then the water purifier with like a fence around it. So that kind of takes away how high up the porch is, you know? And the same thing for the front. I just put all this hay around there just to kind of give it something different to look at. And when it came to decorating the inside, I was trying to be very mindful that I have built so many player homes in this damn game, you know? So I was trying to make the decor a little different from what I've done before and just kind of spice it up a little bit. So this is the kitchen area, I guess. You know, you can't really do a kitchen that well in the game just yet, but I do love the new bar, the new red rocket bar thing here. That makes it look really cool. And I was gonna place down a stove or something like that over here, but I like using the brewing station because there's the steam and the flames underneath it to kind of give it that movement. You know, it's just not so stagnant having stuff like this moving around. And same thing can be said like with the fireplace, with the flames moving around. It just gives a little bit more life to your builds. And I will say that I absolutely love the way that this room came out. There's just like way more that we can do with like the curtains on the wall and all these different decor items. It just, you know, it's starting to feel less barren in 76 when you're starting to build. It's, it's becoming a lot easier to actually decorate and get things looking good. And over here is the bathroom, which actually would not look half bad if I had a sink right here. Yeah, I missed that in the atomic shop. And for some reason we don't have it in the game just yet. So this is what I have to work with. Just pretend like there's a sink there and you'll get the idea. And the room over here next to the front door is the workshop area. Now normally I would have all this stuff in like a garage like I mentioned before, but for some reason, I don't know what it is, but I actually kind of like it in this room. You know, just like having all the windows and not really having that garage door so it actually feels a little more enclosed and a little bit safer. And plus, I think it looks better on the outside anyway, so I think it works. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And upstairs is the bedroom, which is probably the most different of all the bedrooms that I've done so far. Like, I seriously, I went back and looked at all my builds in Fallout 76, and uh, the bedroom was pretty much identical in all of them. It was just the same furniture and all that, because I really didn't have a lot to work with. But now that they've added more and more stuff to the game, it's just starting to come together. It's getting easier, is all I'm trying to say. You know, I stopped building in this game for a little while there, because it was just so frustrating. The mechanics were so annoying, and we didn't have that many items to decorate with anyway. So so it just didn't seem worth it, but now I'm actually really starting to enjoy it. And now here is the back patio, which I did remove those perimeter walls, by the way. It just looks better, you know, especially if you're just like sitting out here and you want to enjoy the view. It's just easier without having a wall right in front of you. 
But that is it for the build. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. But thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.